<laughs> Hi everybody. Hey, welcome back to Task Force Unlikely. Um, everyone is so excited. <laughs> and all our hype to play D and D just remembered where we left off last time. <laughs> so last time, uh, you guys fought a half dragon Etten named Bone Splitter, and you beat him up. Um. You went and you spied on some red wizards who were stupid. Uh, you As decided, they are. You decided to pull back for a little bit. And Navira used her divine sense. And you guys sensed an undead and a fiend. And you kind of decided, you know what? The problem we know. So you went back <laughs> and you scared the shit out of those red wizards. Um, you learned some information that there was a vampire doppelganger and a rakshasa trapped or uh, living in this dungeon as well. Dun, uh, dun, 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 dun. And then you uh, threw them into Under Mountain and were like, "Peace, bitch!" And <laughs> um, you told them you could take they could take their zombies, except then you destroyed their zombies and their spell books and their wands. So now they are just wandering a mega dungeon with no weapons. Um, they took oh, all of those things with them. They just don't work anymore. <laughs> um, they're gonna like. They're gonna. I feel that we're not. Is that the last we've seen of those guys? <laughs> no, we've set them up to be the actual ultimate villains. Yeah, we have. Um, them and the doppelganger that I drowned. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> So then you guys um, decided, screw this, we're taking a nap. You went outside, <laughs> you took a long rest, and then you came back into the dungeon. Someone had reset one of the traps that you had previously disarmed. Uh, you guys avoided it again, re-disarmed it, uh, and then uh, you entered into the dungeon of the crypt, and you are face-to-face -face with... Uh, a lich with one eye wearing red robes, uh, the one eye being a demonic cat eye, and uh, he has said that he is expecting you. Um, and uh, he's kind of staring at you guys, and he's got his hand up. Uh, what would you like to do? Do we know who this is? Um, based on context clues, you <laughs> can presume that this may, might be Zaztam. Cool. Cool. So now both Navira and Mira are panicking. Well, Navira not as much, but definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> Tarbeck is uh, kind of looking to the rest of his party. So last uh. time, we fought what ended up being doppelgangers. I was able to turn one back into being a doppelganger. Mm -hmm. Does anybody want to stop me from seeing how honest this thing is being? Uh... Okay, no. here's, my, here's my one idea then. I will cast a spell magic on it. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> uh, give me a dispel magic check. Twenty two. Okay. Um, the person in front of you shapeshifts into an androgynous, thin alien figure with bright red eyes and a big, <laughs> big cape with a vampire, with a Dracula medal, and he says, fuck you! <laughs> Tarbeck just, like, makes, Tarbeck kind of, like, hits his hammer with his hand. Uh, and he'll have you roll initiative. I'm way more comfortable with this. So oh, mad! Wow. <laughs> so mad I rolled a 15. I'm so mad I rolled a 1. Oh, I rolled a 
Bye. That was my one idea. I had it two weeks ago. I'm it so was glad a it worked. Great <laughs> idea. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Okay. So, Navira got a 15. Is that the highest? I also got a 15. Okay. You probably have higher decks than I do. Uh, my dex is plus one. Yeah, mine is minus one, so have uh, at it, friend. Your deck sounds like my strength. <laughs> yeah, but that's why I have a plus four in strength. Swallowed in. Okay, good. Uh, Lady Caw, you get to go first. I cast Blink and Vanish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you see Lady Caw put her hand up and the Slitch transforms and then she just pieces. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like she's working on like a level or two above everyone else around. I don't know exactly how, but... <laughs> she's currently the smartest person in the party. No, for sure. <laughs> Uh, Navira no is question. your chin. Okay, um, do you think it would be possible for me to grab this neck guy by the neck, throw him up against a wall, and grapple him? Sure. Uh, yeah. Maybe an athletics check. Hell yeah. Get his... Uh, that's not totally great, but it's still a 16. Oh. Um, he will... Um, he is shockingly strong and he kind of pushes your arms away and, uh, from behind his cape, he pulls out a sword. Two can play at that game, buddy. I pull out mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, Just... do you have a bonus action on your turn, Navira? Um. A grapple is an attack, right? So yes. you could definitely yeah. make a second one. Uh, oh. Uh, yes? How does Maybe? it work? I think it I thought a grapple was like an action. Yeah, I thought it took your action, let me see. It's a special kind of attack, technically, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. I... Oh, man, really? Because I am happy to skewer this dude if I can. I'm pretty sure... Let's see. You can use the attack action to make it... If you're able to make multiple attacks with the attack action... This attack replaces one of them. Okay, yeah. Hey, all right. Well, <laughs> if they can't grapple him, we're just gonna skewer him. Okay. Uh, that is a twenty-two to hit. Is a hit. All right. Um, you know what? I am actually going to use a level one. Um. I can't remember the names of any of my abilities anymore. Divine Smite. Okay. Because I feel like that's going to hurt him a lot. <laughs> so. Um, that's probably a good call. He is a vampire. He is a Let vampire. Just... All right. So that is, ooh. I'll roll pretty good. Oh, wait, I can reroll once. Ha ha. Oh, dang. All right. So 14, 21 plus 1. Um, I had my strength. Do I have my strength to do damage or not? I can't remember yes. how to play anymore. Okay. So, yeah, you so, add your strength to yeah your damage. All right. So, yeah, it so twenty five points of damage okay. Okay. in one shot. <laughs> uh, a terrible black smoke will pour off of him where you struck him with your divine smite, uh, and he'll yell because now he can't regenerate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hiss at him. Well, it's a good thing we don't have any other party members that do radiant damage as their primary form of yeah. attack. Uh, <laughs> Gail, it is your turn. Uh, I guess uh, Navira's got this handled, so I'm just gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'll just come around and uh, take a pot shot at him with my short bow. Okay. Uh, 16. 16. Is his armor class. Oh. So that is a hit. 
And that's eight points of damage. And then... Oh, you get sneak attack because the hero is next to him. Oh, so that is... Action, that's a... One... Let me do that. Two. Ah, where are my dice? Okay, so six, six, eight, ten, eleven extra, uh, extra eleven points of damage. Okay. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. And then I will go hide in a corner. Okay. <laughs> uh, so make a stealth check. Oh, that's a natural 20. So 22. Okay. Gale, Gale also disappears. Also vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought this room was like... it's. There's no... There, that corner just doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. The room is now rounded. Um, <laughs> Actually, I think it might have been round before. Uh, I don't remember. No, it's like kind of like a... Um, it's sort of triangular. Uh, it's room-shaped. Suddenly, we all agree in our minds that that little part of the room just doesn't exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a trapezoid room. Um, okay. That was Gale. <sighs> Fang will go. His name's, His name's Fang. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did not make him up. Please tell me this guy's not a major edge lord. <laughs> oh, he totally is. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's a vampiric cape of billowing. Um, ow, he doesn't get as bad because everybody's gone before him because he rolled a, a one. Okay, so let's. Yay! <laughs> Wait, he tied with me? Yeah, but he's got really good decks, so... Fair enough. Um, a 13 to hit, Navira. <laughs> yeah, not even close. Yeah, second attack. 16 to hit, Navira. <laughs> Closer, but not enough. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> well, that's him. You can't, it's, that's Tarbeck tough. <laughs> Uh, he'll take out. She'll hiss at him again. He's kind of long curved sword, and he'll swing it twice ineffectively because he thought he was just going to scare you off his lawn. Okay. So. Next <laughs> up is Tarbeck. So thankful for Lady Car right now, by the way. Just going to say that again. Um. Tarbeck is going to um, activate the dreaded combo of okay. spirit guardians and spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and then I'm going to run and probably just pose next to Navira. I'll fear some like with my shield out. I, I figure she she'll want the um, spirit guardians as close as possible. I'll make the attack with a spiritual weapon first. Mm -hmm. That is not going to hit. I rolled a two on the die, uh, and he has to make a w w wisdom save against spirit guardians. Okay. I think this die might be getting thrown in the corner. He'll fail. No, keep okay. it. I like that one. This is usually one of my good ones. I agree. It is Six, currently being a good two, one. one. Okay, so he takes 11 points of radiant damage. Okay. And obviously my party is not... They're not the target here. Right. And I'm... It's all Van Helsing cosplayers. That's okay. that's my spirit guardians right now. <laughs> you think Tarbeck might be rubbing it in a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh... And Navira. Wait, doesn't Lady Kaga before me? Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, sorry. Lady Ka. My bad. Okay, she's gonna poof back into existence right behind Navira. Give Navira bull strength. Oh, hell yeah. And remain there. 
Okay. Teleports behind you. Nothing personnel. Okay. Uh, Nivira. All right, so bull strength is advantage on strength checks, right? Yes. Correct. All right, cool. So now I'm going to try and, like, barrel into this dude and see if I can grapple him again. Okay. Knock him over and fell him to the ground. And that's just straight strength, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, God. That is only a 14. With advantage? With advantage? With advantage, yeah! <laughs> I rolled a 10 and a 2. Uh, let's see what the rules on show Okay. Like, Andy's she's still waking up, okay? Like, you need new ones. Let's see, shove. The you one that rolled your... a 10 is new. I got it over the break. <laughs> you should give it to Andy. <laughs> okay, uh... You can add your athletics to it. Oh. Well, that'll make it a 17. Okay. He has to be good. He's got for proficiency. He will fail. So, yes, <laughs> uh, you can either knock the target prone or push it back five feet. I'll knock him prone. Okay. Knock him on his ass. Knock him hey. on his ass. <laughs> yes. <It> falls <laughs> ass over tea kettle. And uh, you get to make a second attack. Oh, hell yeah. With advantage because he's prone. With advantage because he's prone. All right. Let's see if these dice can re- can redeem themselves. Uh, cl- yeah, <laughs> that is a, a twenty-seven to hit. Ooh, yep. Is that a crit? Uh, no, that's actually a nineteen. I get plus eight on my attack rolls. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I guess I'll like. Do I want to? Do I want to waste another divine smite on this guy? Like, I don't, I'm not entirely sure if I want him dead or alive just yet because, like, he pulled a, you know what? He pulled a really terrible prank, and Avira's mad. What? So, what? <laughs> so divine smite. <laughs> Get ready to bring the the holy pain. All right, reroll ones. Awesome. So that is twenty three. Okay. <laughs> Paladins, man. Yeah, he's not looking so good. <laughs> and she like knocked him on the ground and then like two handed like drove her sword into like his uh. stomach. <laughs> okay. Uh. At the st- uh, before Gail's turn. You guys hear a uh, shuffling from a different part of the um, the dungeon, a part you haven't explored yet, as it sounds like people are moving towards you. And, All right, let's... Uh, Gale gets to go. Hmm. Ah! Uh, Gale will call from the shadows. Hey, guys! You hear that? Maybe a good idea to keep this guy alive for a second so we maybe have a bargaining chip. Don't vampires do like the gassy form thing? Yeah, but while he's with us, we don't have to worry about him running away. Or is that... Do they do that like... I don't know how vampires work. (laughs) Can I make a religion check? (laughs) Excuse us, sir. How do you work? (laughs) Um, Tarbeck got a... I forget what my modifier for this is. Only an 11. Okay. Uh... Yeah, you... I mean, you... The thing you were looking for, you can't quite... Rec- you know you have to kill vampires in a certain way, but that way is escaping you right now. The radiant damage seems to be working, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Would that be a thing I know? Or Lady Con knows? Sure, you can make go for because of where you were from. Yep. Uh, I actually think you would not because I assume that such weaknesses are kept secret from the people. Okay. 
you can make a you would not know it intrinsically, but you can make a religion check as well to see if you have since learned it. Perhaps when you left and you're like, I'm looking that up. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, yeah, about the same as Tarbeck. It's um nothing quite is you have uh, to stake a piece of garlic and throw it in yeah, a river something or something. Like that. You know that they can probably turn into mist, but you can't remember if it's when they die or if they can just do it all the time. Can I check that? Sure. Uh, religion check. Uh, yeah, that's not any better. Okay. <laughs> we all just like collectively stop for a second as we try to figure out how vampires work. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember. Um, uh, anything else on your turn, Gail, other than yelling at your friends? Uh, yeah, yelling to your friends, sorry. <laughs> well, it's a bit of both, but uh, Gail will just cast Fairy Fire on the door where she hears the shuffling coming from. Okay. Just in case. And we'll continue to hide in our corner. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Fang gets to go again. And he will use his bonus action to disengage. And then he will oh. run. Then he will run away. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, doesn't he have to use his action to stand up because he's prone? Uh, uh, he has to use his move action to stand. Half his movement. So that's half his movement. Oh, uh, okay. And then he can use a bonus action to disengage. How? And then he can go... 45 feet, I think? Yeah, so he gets to the doorway that Gale just fairy fired. <laughs> <laughs> I have something for this. Then. I'm going to use stone shape to close the doorway. Okay. Uh, so that is... Fang's turn. It is Tarbeck's turn. I'm going to use stone shape to close the door. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I'm going to jog on over to him. I don't know <laughs> if I can re. I don't know if I can reach with my spirit guardians yet, but I. Oh, he would have started his the... turn in the spirit guardians. Yeah, as I was well, about so to ask. Okay. Did did he start in the range? Uh. uh... And what's your oh my. saving for a tarback? Uh, 15. 15. He will fail. 10 points. Okay. Uh, and then he'll run over to that corner. And now it is Tarbeck's nope. turn. Nope. And he can. <laughs> There's no more door there. No, my door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take some time to chisel out, but uh, we'll do it right after we're finished painting the wall with you. <laughs> um, oh, his movement is halved. Well, he's here. It, he's screwed anyway. Um, uh, Stone-shaped. He technically... He re-entered the, the zone. <laughs> Now that can't be. No, I don't he... think my zone is yeah, large could... enough to get there, anyways. Then you could just bone him. Anyway, yeah, okay. <laughs> so like hop in and out. Yeah, exactly. Like the zone like, that just... can't be, and that can't be working as intended. It's already such a good spell. <laughs> it's the first time per turn. Uh, Earth. Yeah, is it per... one second? Is it say turn around? Uh. On a turn, first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Well, shit. <laughs> that doesn't. S you know what? I we can make it round because that's a little powerful. Well, I'm going to say when you cast it, it, it triggers. And then when they start to turn there, it triggers. But otherwise, because then you could just literally be like, haha, screw you, back up 15 feet, re go 15 feet. And then every. You, then you're just doing twice around. That doesn't seem fair to me. Anyway. I'm it's a fine. dwarf, so unfortunately I can't. But... Dude's about to die anyway. Especially okay, I am gonna cut him off. Run over there. Okay. Uh, and then it is Lady Cause turn. <laughs> That's my favorite use of a stone shape. 
Yes. Now. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Is it that we're trapped in here with you, or you're trapped in here with us? Honestly, I feel like that's on it. That's it's very clearly the second one. She's just gonna look at Fang, look at where the door was, look back at Fang, look at the rest of her party, look at Fang. <laughs> Chances aren't good. <laughs> <laughs> and then vanish. <laughs> uh, Navira. All right, I am going to mosey on up to this dude, point my sword at his throat, like already just readying it with radiant energy and just be like, surrender or die. Doesn't matter to me either way. Uh, he will say... Um, perhaps we can come to a different arrangement. Having a shapeshifter on your side could be very useful. And having a vampire <laughs> on our side is like 90% treachery chance. Yeah, she'll just like press her sword closer to his throat. <laughs> Surrender or die. Feel like we're not having an open line of communication. <laughs> when you threaten to kill me, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, would you like to do anything else on your turn? He is not moving. He is. He looks scared. But he is going to, it seems, try and play this off at least for another couple minutes. Uh, do you think if I were just to, like, make a normal attack on him without Divine Smite, it wouldn't kill him? You could choose to deal non-lethal damage. Cool. All right. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Because he's pissing me off. Handle Bob and uh, Yeah, that's a 24. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then just 11 points of damage. Okay. Uh, second attack? Uh, I'll forego my second attack. This was just a warning. Okay. Uh, so I'm not know. trying to kill him. I'm just trying to make him piss well, his pants. Well, he doesn't. Wa he's not wearing pants. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all alien. I, I don't have that printed picture. It's on my screen. I'll show you guys later. He's real gross looking. <laughs> Oh. Um, uh, hold on a second. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, he is... It's a little hard to get a read on his real weird face. Um, but his hands are up, and you've done some grievous damage to him. Uh, Gail, what would you like to do? Uh, I guess Gail will move out of the shadows and be like, Tell, ask him what's coming through the door. Why is he stalling? Good what question. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's just not a door there anymore. <laughs> you can't hear it, but you kind of sense a chuckling around you. <laughs> uh... He will say, in response to that, uh, he says that he has many friends in this place. Okay, uh, which ones are coming? Sooner or later, someone will come looking for me. <laughs> mm. Okay. <It> <laughs> um... But he says uh, there are red wizards, uh, uh, undead. <laughs> uh, and 
and someone I would fear if I were you. Perhaps the, the rock. Perhaps he is coming to save me. You mean the rock, Shasa? Yes. He's very protective. Can, can he go through? Can he go through stone? Probably. <laughs> insight check that <laughs> um that is a that's a dirty 20 uh, it, it is uh he is bluffing <laughs> he does not know what rakshasas can do magically so if maybe the dude can well, he doesn't know but he's like probably he's hella magical his hands are backwards <laughs> <laughs> Look, you are not making a very strong case for yourself here. Um, my spirit guardians kind of all square in; they're cracking their knuckles. Uh, from kind of beyond the 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 once door, uh, you can hear a voice go, "Fang, Fang, are you okay?" Do you need me to come in there? Do you need help? Fang? No. Fang? Is that his mom? Fang? No. Tarbeck's actually just going to ask him straight up. Is that your mom? You know not what you have done. The Rakshasa comes. Fang? <laughs> Honey, are you okay? <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> Fang. <laughs> Kayla, pipe up. Fang's fine. We're having a tea party. Oh. He has friends over. So nice. He's locked himself in the dungeon. It's gotten a bit sad. Can I make you pizza pockets? <laughs> yeah. going to look around at the party like, pizza pockets? Yeah. 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 You guys are new? Yeah. I'll be back with some snacks. I'll come in the other door. <laughs> oh, there's another door. <laughs> yeah, there are three doors in this room. Oh. Well, there are there are now two doors in this room. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll reopen it when this is over. <laughs> um. Okay. So Fang. Fang kind of slumps, like, fine, this is, this is over. All right. Uh, we, were uh, like, uh, we were, like, Tucker sort of way, like, pull out some rope and start to tie him up. It's like, look, exa I can't exactly remember what it is that vampires can do, but I'm not taking any chances with this, so. No, this is fine. She's, yeah. like, muttering to herself, like, like, extremely frustrated that she cannot remember vampires. Seems like something they would teach you in basic paladin training, but I guess not. Well, it might just be that you, over time, you will recall it. But you got a lot of stuff up there. She's like, I was taught this, I was supposed to know. And she's just, like, tightening the knots to an uncomfortable level. Like, using all of her strength. He's a doppelganger, he'll be fine. All right. <laughs> That lasts for an hour. <laughs> yeah, so she, she just, yeah, make a <laughs> make a strength check for how tight you tie this knot. With All advantage. right, cool. All right, cool. Uh, that's an eighteen. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't lose any appendages. Ow. <laughs> that's what you get. What do you even want down here? can just leave us alone i do not think i can you've been kidnapping people i just kidnapping not... people an open lord or a lord of water deep did we usually people can't do things like that without repercussions this is how the world works. is it no you you did we got a confession from two of your yes. minions they're in a pretty nice place right now if you would like to join them like to be tried separately from any red wizards 
I mean, uh, traditionally, that vampires. That's the smartest thing he said. <laughs> this is true. Traditionally, vampires don't get a trial. They get uh, a steak and some garlic. <clears throat> Which, honestly, I could go for a steak with some garlic right now, but uh, a different kind. Um, okay, so... Uh, coming around... Uh, you you can see the doorway... Let me make sure that that's out of the way. They can come. Yeah, okay. So, coming through the center doorway... So, there's three doors... The door that you guys have explored through, a door straight ahead of you, and a door to your right that Tarbeck sealed shut. So opening the door um, to the center path uh, is a tall tiger man uh, carrying a tray of snacks. um, And he's wearing an apron that says kiss the chef. He's got a kind of big furry cape on like a like a Cruella de Vil uh, coat and he just walks in and he kind of fusses around he drags a barrel over and uses it as a table and he says company I love company we really should have picked the fiend path uh, did this take long enough or is blink still active how long does blink last it's a minute, I think. Uh, it's been more than yeah. a minute, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna help him set up a makeshift table. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I will... I mean, the Spirit Guardians last ten minutes. I like to imagine they're sort of trying to suppress the vampire's regeneration without doing any real damage, is what they're doing. Okay, If yeah. that's a thing, I If that's a thing I can have them do... I'll say sure. Okay. Because you could let him regenerate a little bit and then start pressing him on it again so he would stop and keep kind of low hit points. So yeah, let's say that yes. Honestly, ideally I'd like to leave him at one, but... Uh... <laughs> um, okay, so the Rakshasa will point and he'll say, this one's cheese, that's pepperoni. So really the only flavors of pizza rolls they make. Um, that yes. is very fair this is okay now Tarbeck is resistant to both fire and poison which is one the biggest risk of eating pizza rolls is fire and two the biggest risk of eating with a Rakshasa is probably poison so Tarbeck will take a bite and say thank you very much You're quite welcome always happy for guests does anyone, I didn't even, so rude. Does anyone have any dietary restrictions? You're slipping. <laughs> Tarbeck will, will cut, will take one of the pizza rolls and slice it into very tiny pieces and then give it to Kaw. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take another, like, full one and just eat that. <laughs> 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 okay so um he'll look at fang tied up and he'll say let's this is a funny game we're playing what do we is this like um you gonna tie him to some railway tracks maybe he's in time out for now yes he did a bad thing absolutely so we're keeping him in timeout. What did he do? Oh, he pulled an oh-so-funny prank on us. But, you know, it hurt us inside. So that behavior needs to be punished. I've tried to talk to him about deceiving people, and he just won't listen. I'm very Kids. disappointed in you, Fang. <laughs> There was Fang. also... Yeah, Fang kind of looks at him like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> you are from hell. <laughs> Rakshasas are like... They're like basically fiends in name only, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, uh, you guys learned Rakshasas a little bit about... 
very much fiends. This yeah. one... <laughs> this guy might be an exception to the rule. They're usually all about, like, retribution and vengeance. This, guy's this guy else. seems cool, though. <laughs> he ran out of things to be vengeful for. Clearly, he's very good at his job. Yeah, just... <laughs> so tiring just being mad at everything all the time honestly he's living his best life i appreciate yeah. it if you make friends with him then you don't have to kill him later it's just so much easier <laughs> so i was hearing that there was uh h hypothetically uh, would you know anything about maybe a, a kidnapping scheme involving the the open lord of water deep uh he'll put his hands on his hips and kind of cock his head and look at fang go, oh fang um, hey, that sounds like something he would do. He says, boys will be boys, as they say. My reply is no. <laughs> yeah, Demir is just like, mm. you see, um, kidnapping open lords is what gets people's attention. And I have a feeling that you people don't like that sort of attention. Wow, always happy for guests. Tarbeck yeah. thinks about raising an objection to the term you people, but then remembers that Navir is a tiefling. <laughs> um, Are we just going to have tea with this guy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Uh, he says he has some cool ranch tortilla chips. And something oh, called be necessary. Uh, Canyon Fizz. And he'll pull out some very green drink. <laughs> I guess we're just happy. I have... imagine it's Fang's favorite. Well, second favorite. Uh, I'm going to look I'll... spicy Doritos. I'll like seat. I'll, I'll like seat Fang at the table, but still tied up. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, as as the Rakshas is going about getting everyone snacks, uh, Fang kind of looks at all three of you, or four of you, and he's just kind of like, "You're blowing up my spot, man." Uh, Honestly, the, we were. Probably gonna come in here to kill you, but this I, I actually think not doing so was it now I'm realizing the better choice. Yeah, I mean I seem to seem to think is like our job was to stop red wizards and you know, hurt everybody who was hurting the open the wars of Waterdeep. But I think you guys were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and if you could tell us where all the Red Wizards are, we can just get them out of here, stop them from being a bad influence on Fang, and, you know, just get out of your hair. Uh, don't vampires drink blood of the living? I don't wanna, I don't wanna profile here, but, uh... Uh... Fang will say no comment. <coughs> um, okay. Weren't you involved in the I kidnapping? Yes. Um, so, <clears throat> the Rakshasa will kind of sigh heavily and say, "It. I feel like I have failed when, you know, these nice young people apparently feel the need to go kidnap Vast lords of deep water. Where are you from? The water deep. Water it's deep. literally right above you. They all sound the same to me. <laughs> um, just like thirty feet up, even like not even thirty feet. I don't, I don't like the city. It's so loud. Um, but well, if it will help you, nice people. Uh, there are some red wizards that way, and he'll point to the way where you have already disposed of some red wizards, or the two red wizards, and he'll point uh, past the stone-shaped door, and he'll say, um, I just left some over there, too. They seem to be laying a trap of some kind. I don't mm. know what, don't know 
what they get up to. I think we should go around the trap. Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, can I get perception checks from everyone, please? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Ten. Eleven. Fourteen. Thirteen. Okay, cool. Good. Good. Great. I'm glad. Yeah. Me too. Um, okay. So the Rakshasa will say... Hmm. Yes. I don't suppose you would all want to stay with me in my home. Uh, you know, I actually... I am a little busy most of the time. Uh, <laughs> Tarbeck is like trying to think of the polite thing to say. I have a job, and I got like move around a lot for it. Well, you can always come back. I can do your laundry. Yeah. You can visit. Oh, jeez. I feel bad now. <laughs> you never visit. <laughs> we just met you. It doesn't take much to come see your old friend. Jeez. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't uh, know what to say. Gail will tap, Gail tap uh, Navir on the shoulder and whisper to her. Do you think we should, uh, like, have him hang out with who's our master lord friend? Uh, oh, oh yeah, Durgar. Shit, right, Durgar. <laughs> Durgar. Yeah. That actually it's, seems like it would solve a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, because he needs a house with non-mushroom people in it, and this guy seems to need, you know, company. <laughs> I'm not. not entirely sure taking Lord Dwergar back to the place where he was kidnapped to live is the best idea. No, I mean, have the Rishaksha live with Dwergar in the, the creepy old house. Better, better. Don't know how the citizens of Waterdeep would feel about a Rakshasa living with their, one of their lords, but... They don't you have know. to know. Uh, yeah, the Rakshasa will <laughs> um, kind of... Do that like dad trick where he's like smiling and then moves his hand over his face and he's frowning. But as he does, he slowly uh, casts disguise self on himself and he just turns into a human wearing the same outfit with backwards hands. <laughs> well, it's disguise self, so uh, the hands are the right way, but he keeps gesturing with them weirdly. <laughs> That could work. So we know someone who is his eyesight probably will he won't be able to figure out that you're Rakshasa. I'll, I'll say that much. He's not the best eyesight. Uh, you know, senior citizen could really use a visitor. You seem like the good Samaritan type. Tarbeck said to a fiend. Um, <laughs> I just like taking care of people. That actually works. <laughs> And then do we have the room for you? On those who have wronged the ones I love. And making pizza rolls. Even better. <laughs> gonna pat Fang on the head. Uh, Fang's not there. Uh, That's what I was afraid uh, of. Oh, Just go. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, sort of gesture to my spirit guardians and like, did you see where he went? Uh... <laughs> And the Rakshasa will... I look not so good. Yeah, the Rakshasa will shake shake his head and say, That rascal. Uh-huh. I don't have Scry yet. <laughs> it's daytime, right? Uh, we yeah. entered at the start of morning, okay, so it should be. Unless that was a really long fight where we just kind of beat up an emo kid. <laughs> So long as we didn't finish off the emo kid, I think we're fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so, 
I don't know. I feel like giving directions to an, a masked lord of Waterdeep's house is a very bad idea. Did yeah, we get this guy's know. name? <laughs> uh, no, we know we know his it's, name, but I don't think he uh, told. Him. Yeah, uh, he. If you ask, he will introduce himself as Nar Shinda. All right, Narshinda. My name is Navira. We want you to wait Pleasure. here for a little bit. Okay. Um, don't worry. We'll be back. We think that we may have found some new housing and roommate opportunities for you. Now, if we do this for you, you are going to have to promise. Um, you know what? Never mind. We're not going to worry about that. Okay. But uh, we have some other things to take care of. Thank you for the, um, she'll pick one up. She has no idea of what to do with this. So she'll just, that and we'll be on our way. Tarbeck still has some cheese stuck in his beard. Yeah. It's full of vitamin cheese. <laughs> That's part, part without of, a okay. doubt. Part of a healthy lunch. <laughs> you notice Tarbeck didn't wait for any of Fly it to easy. cool off, but didn't even like flinch. <laughs> uh... He will uh, take a handkerchief, um, kind of fold it out, and put a bunch of the pizza rolls in it and, like, tie it up like a little to-go bag and hand it to Tarbeck. <laughs> I, I, you know, I've been trying to watch my weight lately. I probably probably Thank shouldn't you. eat me more. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We appreciate it. Just never come to visit? You don't take any of my food? I, I don't know. We just met. Tarbeck, Tarbeck, take the pizza things. Take, yeah. Tarbeck will take the pizza things. We don't want the wrath of this thing on us. Just take the pizza things. Right, yes. No, I remember. Enemy yes. To stay. Take my we leftovers. Take, we will take the leftovers. <laughs> Tarbeck will take the leftovers. Mildly frustrated bird going like, I, I want those, but I don't have the words to articulate that. <laughs> Do you want the pizza rolls? Yes. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> thank that's that's thank you again for doing the dispel magic thing. That was very that was very bright of you. And uh I'm 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 I I have picked the the best possible person for a traveling companion. And then Tarvik's gonna pat Lady Ka on the back. Oh, very happy bird noises. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Rakshasa. <laughs> He's so happy. I still can't believe this is happening. I imagine the spirit guardian I and the. <laughs> I imagine the spirit guardians are gone by now. Uh, yes. Okay, so um, do we want to go and find the go go around the trap? Yeah, I was thinking we'd just, like, wander right into it, see what kind of trap it is. Yeah. I guess in these, like, these passages intersect with each other, then. So, yeah, so, um... Uh, Narshinda can, kind of can draw you a bit of a rough map, but if you go, That's uh, incredibly helpful. Let me see if I can... Very quickly draw you guys a map. At a certain point, I will ask him if he's interested in volcano realism. <laughs> he says it's a bit too evil for his taste. Everyone says that, but I don't know why. I grew up in a volcano. My father grew up in a volcano. His father grew up in a volcano. <laughs> okay. So let me see. Is this... Of course. Let me see. That actually looks pretty good. Can you guys see it? Hold on. Let me if I turn, oh, yeah. if I turn off this light. Does that help? Okay. Mm. So you guys are in this room. Uh, 
The X is the doorway that Tarbeck destroyed. So he's saying... Depending on your interpretation, I fixed it. <laughs> uh, he's saying, go through the door straight ahead, down the hallway and into the circle room. That's where the trap is. Okay. Uh, and he'll say there... Um, so, so he says that there are a couple other red wizards. Uh, Fang is now back out there. Um, and that there is a way into Skullport, but he doesn't go there because that's a dreadful place. Um, there, we now know what the kidnapping is for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he says uh, further into the dungeon around where he usually stays, there is a room with a sarcophagus in it. But he doesn't know what's in it. He's never been able to get it open. Nobody's ever been able to get it open. Sorry, you cut. Yeah, you cut, yeah, you cut out I? for a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so he says, uh, "There's the path to Skullport," and he says, "Further into the dungeon, past kind of the little map he drew." Um, he usually stays in a room, and uh, near that room, there is a sarcophagus, which no one has ever been able to get open. He doesn't know what's in it. It's been here longer than he has. I think that might be Fangs. Just uh, a guess. Uh, <clears throat> he says that uh, Fang actually has a different coffin. This one's much bigger. Mm. This is like a giant sized sarcophagus. Well, we're not Put going a pin there. In that. <laughs> Let's deal with that trap first. Frankly, I've had enough about enough I'm dead as I can take today. I have to move Rakshasa from my enemies list to my friends list. <laughs> or at least just that one. Cinema request. <laughs> um, I've, he's interesting. I should. I'm gonna visit him again. He accepts it immediately. <laughs> he was sitting there refreshing the page, waiting for it. To <laughs> he pokes you, and you're like, they still let this happen on this site? Uh, uh, it's just what Lady Khan needed. Another parental figure to have to go and visit. <laughs> Tarmic is a dwarf. He's used to it. That entire conversation was just like moving visit parents higher up her priority list. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we'll go around to the tra trap. <laughs> Basically, try and see if we can't sneak up on the wet red wizards from behind. Well, he said they have cornered themselves in a circular room. How is that even possible? Well, they locked, the door. they locked the door behind them. Like, they are holed up in a room where they are controlling the entrance to it, is what he uh. said. Just wondering if we have any like. There's no one. No one's got like stinking cloud or something. Uh, nope. Oh, how big is this room? The one you're currently in, or the one you're supposed to go to? The one we're supposed to go to. Let's see. Oh no! Wait, I already used my fourth level spell slot. Never mind. Okay. I was going to say, it's about uh, 50 or 100 square feet. Yeah. I have Wall of Fire. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. That would have been a good one. <laughs> it would have been. Oh, well. Uh, that was a really good use of stone shape. Worth it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, I have darkness, but I think that means everybody can't see, not just the people in the room. That is true. Oh, actually. Yeah, most of my spells are make my hits hit harder. <laughs> Do you have the ability to create an illusory double of some kind, or like a, an image of yourself? Uh, that's, that's like all Lady Ka does. <laughs> Hi. I have an idea. So it's a round room, right? Yes. 
and we're expecting all of the red wizards to be positioned on the on the outside, right? At least, like in my head, that's what's going on. So they can all so if, in. If we were to say get an illusory double in there and then cast darkness and have them all shoot at it at the same time, like some kind of ridiculous cartoon, would we be able to get them to shoot each other? <laughs> It's worth a try. Tarbeck will explain his plan in deed. <laughs> I know, I know this is a dumb plan, but they, these are red wizards we're talking about. The one problem I can see with that is that since it's only one door in, one door out, they will all be focusing on the door, not so much being on the outside, or they would grump, group together in the middle. To have, they have like a nice unified fort around themselves. Can you open a door from a distance? I have me chance. I can try. So, like, I just I figure we get them to like at the very least blow all their good spells, <laughs> trying to attack the illusory double and see if that helps us at all. <clears throat> So wait, I know where this room is. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, do you want to take ten minutes while I look into this room without moving? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Tarbuck will um, use his artisan's blessing to make a present for the Rakshasa. Aww. Like a like a nice, a nice. You know what? I know exactly what he'll make. He'll take the barrel, and he'll use it to make a nice dining table. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> Artisanal made out of reclaimed wood. Yeah, it's got like little metal studs in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, he adores it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's like it's it's not like huge because it's only from a barrel and some like stone and metal mm -hmm. that was lying around, but it's like a kind of a bistro type table. Okay, so. Casting clairvoyance. I can okay. do this for up to ten minutes where I can see into the room. Okay. So Lady Ka's just gonna kind of like sit there holding I think it's a horn that you need to use to cast it. It's like her eyes kinda glaze over and her beak opens, and any noise she hears while looking into this room is just gonna come out of her Okay. Uh That's so cool. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me just look up clairvoyance. Because in older editions it only let you See or hear. You can do both. Let's see. Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance. Um, seeing or hearing. Okay. okay, so would uh, you like to choose seeing or hearing? Uh, hearing, because I'll be able to convey that a little bit better to the rest of the party. Okay. Um, you hear the voice of Fang say, and you're sure that will work? And another voice says, of course. It's not my fault you blew your your big plan. How was I supposed to know? I've never had that happen before. Uh-huh. Seriously, dude. Not cool. I'm really, really in a bad place right now. They've convinced Narshinda that somehow we're bad kids or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and you can hear another one kind of in the distance go, put our pizza pockets. <laughs> um, They're our pizza pockets now. <laughs> and uh, it, it, so from what you can tell, there are four people in this room. Uh, and it seems like they have used uh, based on kind of them continuing to talk that they have used Glyph of Warding on the door. Um, and that there is a mundane set trap in the in the room itself. Um, some kind of blade trap. What if we open the door and then trigger the Glyph of Warding if one of them tries to check it out and see what's wrong with it? Uh, well, you'd have to... You'd have to go look at... He doesn't say how the glyph is set up. 
Because the glyph might trigger when the door is opened. I am getting too complicated. I apologize. (laughs) But I I think now we have the jump on them, so I think we should do this sooner rather than later. Are we all in for this? We could use the pizza pockets to trap them. They seem to be fond of them, those things. I don't understand. (laughs) (laughs) It's not the worst idea I've ever heard is the bad thing. We could have the illusory double come in carrying the pizza pockets via mage hand and then stand in the middle of the room. (laughs) I mean, or we could have... We have... um... The mage hand knock on the door, and then Lady Cog can mimic the Rakshasa. Oh with my god. That's, that's a perfect idea. <laughs> and I hate it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it too. No, that's the best idea. Tarbeck will kind of just like stab his fingers and point and nod like... <laughs> yes! You may rely on it, absolutely. (laughs) It's quite clever. (coughs) Okay. But what will we do once they open the door? Will that trigger the glyph? Do we know? They'll probably try to... uh, Maybe. We're not sure. It will create a bottleneck so that they're all three, so that most of them are at the door and we can just hit them through there. Yeah. But they're also... I think they're going to be... If we do it with with, uh, Varshinda... They would not try to attack the door. They'll think it's him, and we could just like mow them over because they'll catch him by surprise. Exactly. And I can even summon my spirit guardians right at the door and have How them about, get a free turn of. What 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 if we use our spiritual weapons so that once <laughs> they open the door, they just get. That's a very good idea, like and I like it a lot. weapon to be the shape of a paint can hung up above the door? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like... Okay, and, and mine will be tar, and... and, <laughs> and someone else can do feathers. Mine is just an... have spirit <laughs> Mine is just an acne break. <laughs> <laughs> an anvil. Yep. All right. No, I'm... Let, let's do this. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay. So it's a great idea. You guys uh, head into the 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 next room down the hallway, and you see the um, the door into the circular chamber. Okay. What first thing Tarbuck first thing Tarbuck is going to do is very kelf- carefully plate the pizza rolls, the ones that are left over. Okay. I'm going to invoke duplicity. Okay. There is now a second lady cock carrying a plate of pizza rolls. <laughs> and Gail will summon her mage hand. Okay. Just lift it over to the door. I cast my spiritual weapon. I also cast my spiritual weapon. Okay. <laughs> and just ready them right at right outside the door. An anvil and, like, a giant novelty boxing glove. (laughs) Look, if Fang gets to play pranks on us, we get to play pranks on him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't start a prank war with the trickster cleric. (laughs) (laughs) It's so true. We literally have an arcane trickster and a trickster cleric. (laughs) This is totally on him. <laughs> he was trying uh, to... <laughs> That's not fair. So what What would you like to say, Lady Cobb? The duplicate's just gonna go up to the door and just... In our Sheena's voice, just go, Fang? Fang? <laughs> Gail will start tapping, like, knocking with the mage hand. <laughs> um... Uh, you can hear Fang say, Wait, are they gone? Did you get them to leave? Are you okay? <laughs> He'll say, well, 
No, you know what? What you did really hurt my feelings. I can't believe you took their side over ours. Bang. <laughs> you can hear someone else in the rooms go, dude, I smell pizza rolls. It's him. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll move, uh, Gail, I'll move her mage hand down so it just, like, starts to jimmy open the door. Okay. Um, and you can hear someone say, well, dis- uh, someone will say, you should dispel the trap, dude. And another person will say, no, Rakshas are immune to magic under a certain level. <laughs> it won't hurt them. Yeah, but it's rude. <laughs> uh everybody give me or uh who has the highest deception highest what deception oh uh not me i have a plus uh, two i have a plus five yeah lady cog definitely uh, that one lady cog give me a deception check with advantage sometimes a plan just really comes together <laughs> 22. Okay. Uh, the one voice says, it's rude. And uh, you can see the door glow momentarily and then stops glowing. Are we doing that? She's just going to turn to the rest of the party and just, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you push open the door. <clears throat> And you I'm see, sorry? send the mimic in first. Okay. <laughs> and Lady Ka, with a plate of pizza rolls, heads into the middle of the room, and you can hear Fang go, "It's the fuzz, cheese it." <laughs> Fang. <laughs> I think the Fang is our cue to, to, to have our spiritual weapons. Okay, uh, so. <laughs> Um, you guys make attacks. There are four <laughs> individuals in the room, two younger wizards, an older wizard, and Fang. All right. Uh, Tarvek's spiritual weapon's going to turn into a pizza roll and smack <laughs> one of the younger wizards. Okay, no. <laughs> Do I get advantage on this? Uh, no. I'm giving you guys a surprise round. Okay, that's a nat one. Okay. Um, so he takes a bite out of the delicious divine pizza roll. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> Smacks him in the mouth with yeah. flavor. Uh, Navira. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm just gonna get, keep it with the classic anvil. Maybe that'll hit, hit better. Okay. I rolled the natural one as well. <laughs> okay. Turn it back into a mimic. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. At that point, just. Uh. Everybody this dice is being put away. Uh, roll initiative. At least we dispelled the trap. Oh, that's better. I just rolled a natural 20. Uh, 17. Uh, 12. 19. Also 17. Uh... Navira had a 19. Yep. Uh, Tarbeck? 12. 12. Gale was a 17, and Carl was a 17? Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> okay. It would have. <laughs> if we hadn't rolled those ones. Yeah. It's, it's, it can't be perfect. So. I was going to use the pizza rolls as an improvised weapon, but I figured that would be too much. Uh, uh, Fang will take out a short bow and say, I hate you! And shoot at <laughs> Navira. Oh, Fang. 17 to hit Navira? <laughs> nope. Okay. Tarbeck tough. 
And it is your turn, Navira. <sighs> All right. Well, as soon as the anvil, like, the anvil comes rushing in, and then Navira comes charging in right after, heading straight for Fang, gearing up a level two um, to find Smite okay. if she can hit him. Uh, crap, that's only a 13. That is a miss. All right, well, second attack. Yep. You so don't use your dis- Yeah, 27. That's a hit. All right. Time to bring the holy pain. Now I guess she uses the divine smite. Reroll <laughs> ones and twos. Good lord. All right. A- uh, 30 points of damage. Ooh. Okay. Ow. Yes, that's all he says. Ow. She just skewers him and like brings him like right out close to her face and just like spits at it. Does Navira still have bull strength? Uh how long does that last? An hour. Then yes. Awesome. <laughs> uh Gail, it is your turn. Uh Gale will try to move into the room and cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter on the older wizard. Okay. So they have to make a wisdom save. Come on, dude. He will fail. He rolled below 14? He did roll below 14. He adds... Wow. A decent amount to it, but he only rolled on the die a seven, so <laughs> my dice rolls today are not great. I have been enjoying them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're great okay. for us. So the necromancer is Toshid. Oh necromancer. Oh dear. good to know. <laughs> mm. Okay. And Gail will just like have herself like up against the wall. Okay. okay. There's no corners to hide in. There are no corners to hide in. <laughs> uh, Lady Kong. It's three other wizards or four other wizards? So uh, it's Fang and three wizards. Okay, she is going to evil eye the three wizards and cast Bane on them. Okay. They all need to make... How do you say? Okay. Ooh, no, I lied. That is a charisma saving throw. Yes. So, uh, the two young ones will fail. The older one will succeed. Yeah. Andy, you cut out for a second. What did you oh, say? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why. I keep saying that. The two young ones failed. The two young ones failed. The older one succeeded. But he's Tasha'd. But he's Tasha'd. He's finding his situation very funny. And are they all close together? Uh, they are pretty close together. Like, would you say within 15 feet of each other, hypothetically? Uh, yeah. Just just asking. Okay. For a friend. Yeah. Hey, Andy, when do our um, spiritual weapons go? On, on our your, turns. On your turns. Oh, that's right. Okay. I think it's a bonus action to attack with a spiritual weapon. It is, which means you didn't, which means you can. If you want. Oh, all right. Hit him. So she just skewers vampire dude and then, all right, time to, then suddenly an astral mimic comes flying at him. Do, 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 do. I like to think it's uh, the ghost of the one you killed. Uh, that's exactly a 16. Is it? Alright, how much damage is spiritual weapon again? Uh, 1d8 plus charisma. 1d8 plus charisma, gotcha. Uh, that's 8 damage. Okay. Just, like, stab and then for an extra, like, insult to injury, just... <laughs> Um, okay, so that was that. 
Paul used Bane, the Necromancer gets to go. Uh, oh, and he is Toshid, so he will make He finds the situation hilarious. <laughs> he has a real gallows humor. Yeah. Oh. Um, he will stop laughing, but that is the end of his turn. Uh, and Tarbeck, it is your turn. Tarbeck will rock star slide. Okay, he won't do that. He'll he'll run into the room and then and then summon his spirit guardians. No, dude, you gotta commit. Okay, he'll rock star slide into the room and then at the end summon <laughs> playing the air guitar on his hammer summons some spirit guardians. Okay. Okay, um, so... who coincidentally they're all dressed like heavy metal band members. One of them looks suspiciously like Korg. I was going to say, I did not know Korg's backup band was touring. <laughs> um, um, yeah, and they're going to wail on these wizards with guitars, apparently. Okay. So, they entered the thingy for the first time. So, go ahead and roll damage, and I've rolled some saves. 11 points of radiant damage. Okay. I assume... Fred, or whatever his real name is, is not in the range. Uh, Fang? Fang yeah. is n not. Okay. He is also currently stabbed, so I'm yeah, not too that's worried true. about Fang. I'm, I'm doing crowd control while Navira yeah, takes out the boss. <laughs> I got more where that came from, man. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to be squared up with the older one, like, in melee range, if I can. Okay. Done. Okay. The younger two will go. And they will ask Lady Caught. Uh, Lady Caught and Gale to make dexterity saving throws. As Those are her two most dexterous players. Yeah. <laughs> They each walk up to you and uh -oh. cast Burning Hands. Oh, no. That's not good. So, That's a I guess, I guess they figured the person who's currently on fire wouldn't mind so much. Question. Also, I have resistance to fire damage as well. Uh, yeah. Which lady car are they targeting? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't think she's actually in the room yet. Then... Is she? Nope. <laughs> they would have targeted your duplicate. That's good, because I rolled a four. <laughs> oh, God. And you rolled a... Oh, fair. A, a 12, Gale? Yeah. A 12 is what you need to succeed. These are apprentice hey. wizards. Oh. <laughs> so you take six fire damage. Yay. And uh, Lady Cause duplicate flickers and then reappears. And one of them gets very mad. Or the one with you. I forgot to make my spiritual weapon attack. Do you mind if I do that? Oh, sure, go ahead. It'll be against the older wizard. He's prone, right? Uh, yes. Just hideous laughter. Yes. In that case, that'll be a 23, I think. Is it? hit? Okay. Uh... Uh, six points of damage okay. to the Necromancer. Okay. Oh, by the way, the the wizards they did they start their turn in my aura? Yeah, they would have. Yeah. Okay. It began within the confines of the Thresher Maw. That's fifteen <laughs> point fifteen points of radiant damage. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> We're just, this is a non-stop battery of <laughs> radiant damage. <laughs> uh. Okay. It's providing ample like stage lighting for your band of spiritual guardians. Exactly. Tarbeck decided he'd mix it up a bit. <laughs> Nobody really knows about this side of the family <laughs> for, <laughs> for good reason. Okay. It is Fang's turn. And he will 
drop his short bow and attack the Navira twice. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's there trying his best. He is trying his best. So let's see. That is a 23. Okay, yeah, that does it. Okay. So Finally. <laughs> take 21 piercing damage. Oh, <laughs> and 10 necrotic damage. <laughs> okay. That's what I was expecting. Mm. Uh, so that's I forgot. 31. Vampires are strong. <laughs> yeah, and he's some kind of rogue. So. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um. Okay. Oh, are there people next to her, Nivira? There is a yeah. One of the wizards kind of ended up flanking her. Okay. Uh, I got it. it. Is her? It is Nivira's turn. All right. Well. <laughs> I can only take what you've given me and repay it in kind. <laughs> Get him again. Uh, 18 hit. Is it hit? All right, I'm gonna hit him with that searing smite, which will give me an extra 2d6, and it'll also make it impossible for him to be invisible if he, that's something he can do. I have no idea. Okay. All right. Uh, we will. That was a five, and that got hit. Hang on. I'm like totally can't use charge. So 5, 11, 15, 19 points of damage. Okay. This game isn't about dragons, it's about math! <laughs> <laughs> I feel lied to. Hey, I've been learning this whole time? <laughs> All right, and of course we can hit him again. So sure, that is indeed a thing. <laughs> again, I repay him, him in kind. <laughs> I repay him in kind twofold. Okay, with and interest. Then you can hit him with the spiritual weapon. I can also do that. Uh, that is a seventeen to hit. Is a hit. All right, I'm gonna hit him with that level one divine smite because it can. Oh, goodness gracious. This is why I'm so glad I have that ability. 23 points of damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. And I also have a spiritual mimic, weapon. Yep. Mimic. <laughs> so I just go straight at it with that mimic. Uh, oof, that, that is going to hit though. What is it? I was on a streak. It's a 13. Yeah, okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, Gail, it is your turn. Uh, I guess there's two wizards on me? Or uh, one there at is, least? There's one wizard who has approached you. They, they're still about 10 feet away from you. Okay. Uh, and I guess I'll just close the distance and use in those, like, Stab him with my rapier. Okay. Oh. Uh. 23. Is a hit. Okay. Do I... No, I don't get sneak attack for this then, don't I? Uh, no. Nope. But he's real close to being dead, so... So that is eight points of damage. Is enough to kill that apprentice. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else on your turn, Gail? Gail's just going to stare. I'm like, oh, I was expecting more. <laughs> Slight disappointment. Yeah. Uh, Lady Cole. This abiding remarks, even in death. <laughs> uh, so is it the necromancer or is it the other apprentice wizard that's kind of giving um, Fang his it's one of the it's apprentice blank. wizards. That because the necromancer hasn't been able to stand yet. Yeah, we're gonna do this anyway. Um, so the duplicate cause just gonna kind of become enveloped in shadow for a minute, and then that shadow is going to move towards the apprentice wizard, and I would like him to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh goodness! Okay. Uh, he will roll a seventeen. 
Yeah, uh, he makes it. Okay. Is it... Polymorph. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was save or die or half damage or what. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he will make it. But I spooked him. Oh, well, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, anything else in your turn, Lady Caw? Uh, yeah, I can healing word in a few hours. Please. <laughs> You've got a little desiccation on your face. Five points of damage back? <laughs> it's something. Rule to one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Julio, thank you! Don't worry, I also got one. I, I mean, I, I'm still 41 points good, so... I know, You're but like... You're still it's... most of my HP. Okay. <laughs> okay. What can I say? She can take it. I still would like to keep the tank up. Uh, the Necromancer will create a Bigby's hand. Will he stand up? He will stand. <laughs> okay. And then create Bigby's hand and attack Navira. Oh, good. I I hate to be that guy, but I am right in front of him, just in case you, uh... Uh, then he will attack, uh, Tarbeck. Which means he has even less of a chance to hit. <laughs> um, oh, but he has to make a save. Uh, Tarbeck does? No, 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 uh, because you have spiritual guardians. The standing oh, up right, yeah. yeah so of opportunity. He, he will... No, it does not. Uh, okay. but he will <laughs> take... What if it's funny if it did? Get back down. Oh, I didn't think it didn't, but, you know. Uh, that's, uh, eight. I've been not been rolling great on the Spiritual Guardians, but that's eight points of Radiant Damage. I mean, it's free damage of the round. So let's see. That's eight. Uh, I think you can take a feat that means if people, like, do anything near you, you get an attack of opportunity. Um, that's, oh, Sentinel, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's okay. really good with pole arms, because you can just yeah. be like, yeet. You're like 10 feet away from me and I'm just stabbing you. <laughs> uh, it's a really funny feat, yeah, honestly. Can't come, you can't come close to me. It's real weird. Okay. So, no one can escape my judgment. Hand. Uh, 21 to hit Tarbeck. Oh, no. He just hits my AC. Darn. Ah. <sighs> Uh, so take uh, 15 force damage as oh, Bigby's yeah. hand punches you in the face. <laughs> so a big glowy <laughs> fist just punches you. Just kind of imagine it's like, it hurts, but still just like, clang! Is that all you got? <laughs> Although there's like a dent in his helmet now, so it's like... <laughs> uh, and Tarbeck, it is your turn. Okay, first of all, Tarbuck will get rid of his dented helmet. Uh, second of all, uh, Tarbeck will, um, I mean, I am right in front of this neck. Question, is the is the hand, like, punching me or something? Like, is it grabbing me, or how no, does it, it work? It, so, uh, he can control it, um, it's, 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 it's in a space next to you, and it punched you once, and it's just floating there, kind of waiting for his next command. Okay, uh, Tarbeck is going to, first of all, forego his spiritual weapon attack to Healing Word Nivira, Nivira okay. at uh, first level. Oh, I got a four. Um, so that's eight points of healing. Thank you! <laughs> no problem. Um, and Tarbeck will... Do we go Hammer, or do I go Sacred Flame? Hmm... What's more likely to hit? And do more uh, damage. <laughs> they're, they're about tied in damage. I don't imagine Wizard's AC is very good. Yeah, I would go with the Sacred Flame, because if he makes the save, you at least do half damage. No, I don't do, an, I don't do half on a, on a cantrip. <laughs> on cantrip. Yeah. So I'm just going to hit him with my hammer. Okay. That, that is a 20, tw 20... That's just a 20. Oh, yeah, hit. Anything with a two okay. in front of it. And then I... <laughs> that is uh, 
seven points of damage, and does he have to make a save to keep concentration? Oh, he does. Oh, I have also have to make a save to keep concentration, though. Uh, he will make his save, so make your concentration check. Oh, dear. Um, oh, right. How much damage did he do? Uh, 15, so the save is 10. I Wait, are literally, you... I got exactly 10, so okay. it's fine. Okay, good. And also, Navira helps your saves. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Uh, that's... It's just an old man fight between Tarmac and this guy. <laughs> Stop it. And it's a slap fight, except he has summoned a giant spectral hand to do his slap feel like for him. He has an advantage in the slap fight. Um, you but... have spirit guardians and a spiritual weapon. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Apprentice 2 is the one who was tricked by Lady Caw. And he will... Um... He'll turn to face Navira. No oh boy. And he will... He only has one attack cantrip. And he will roll a 14. Done hit! As a very pathetic little fire bolt will just skitter across your armor. <laughs> I'm also resistant to fire damage, yep. dude. Yep. He does not have a wide spell selection. She'll just kind of look over her shoulder oh. and, like, shake her head. And actually, it was even worse than that because he is baned. Um, <laughs> oh! So, the other apprentice is dead. It is Fang's turn again. Wait, did you remember to do the bane for the one I when I tried to polymorph him? I think he rolled an 18 minus 3 would have been 15. That meets the DC. Okay. He'd have been fine. Uh, okay, let's see. Fang on Navira. Ooh. Well, that's at least one hit. Let's see. Mm. Uh, 25 to hit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is uh, 21 piercing damage. Oh, God. And 10 necrotic damage. Oh, God. <laughs> And then the second That's... attack is a 12. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh, God. Okay, so it's 31 damage. Oh, my God. Navira's not Are looking too okay? high. <laughs> I'm, I'm still up. I'm still... I'm still... I can't take another one of these hits, but I'm still up. Uh, I don't like that flanking guy. He's not very nice. <laughs> well, I tried to turn him into a chicken. Um, and Navira, it is your turn. All right. <laughs> I hope I can kill this guy in the next couple of rounds. Otherwise, I am down. All right. Oh, God. Damn. That's only a 14. Is a miss. That is an 18. Is a hit. Oh, okay. I got to give everything I got. Level 2 Divine Smite. Okay. Uh, 25 points of damage. Uh, Fang will turn into a pile of ash at Navira's feet. <laughs> and Navira... Wait, hang on, I'm gonna check something. Sure. It's lay on, what, does lay on hands count as an action? Lay on hands is an action, yes. Okay. I just want to point out, though, you just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a vampire and won... With, yeah. with next to no help, like a couple healing spells, that was it. <laughs> so she's gonna like wow, like sneak attack damage. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna like stand over the pile of ash, like teeth gritted, heaving, and then she's gonna turn her gaze on the necromancer and set her spiritual weapon on that guy. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Oh well, <laughs> that doesn't hit. I rolled a two. All right. Well, oh, Mimic's having an off day. Uh, that's still only an eight. Okay. 
<laughs> She's seeing so much red, she missed a little bit. Okay. Uh, Gail, it almost hits tar back. <laughs> uh, Gail, it is your turn. Uh, uh, so, I guess Gail will go take out the one apprentice dude that's okay. still left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. With our rapier. So. Oh, uh, that's a 24 to hit. Is a hit? Is there somebody <laughs> near me? <laughs> uh, Nivira is. Yeah. So this dude's gonna be extra dead. Uh, that's it. Something poetic about that, because he was giving a flank the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Six, uh, 11. Is a hit? Or is, is a dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And he... she'll like Sorry, she'll turn and give a thumbs up to Navira. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Navira just drips blood. <laughs> she's grateful, but she's also so mad she can't see anything right now. Uh doesn't it? Uh, Lady Call, it is your turn. So it's still, it's just the necromancer that's up, it's right? It's just the necromancer left, yeah. He's in melee with Tarbeck. So, neat. Um, Lady Ka's going to walk into the room. There are now two bird women in here, and I would like the necromancer to make me a charisma saving. He adds nothing to his roll of ten. <laughs> ten matches it. Dang it. Stupid wand of smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, he has Bane. He's Baned. Oh, no, that's he right. Made that no, save. he made his Bane. Oh, save. that's right. Um. Okay. Curse is decorative. He just won't die. Just want to smile. <laughs> uh. Tarbuck will make a shield smile to make Kaw feel better. <laughs> uh, anything else, Lady Kaw? No. Okay. Um, the Necromancer takes damage. Takes damage. So he will make his four. Save. Seven. Uh, that's 15 points of radiant damage. It takes half of that. But he has to make a concentration save. Oh, he does. I'm only doing that because of that hand is real painful. <laughs> His hand will go away. And that does <laughs> mess with what he was going to do, so does he cast it again? Oh, right, he can cast that twice, damn it. Well, but it really... Now he wants to do this other thing. Okay. Tarbeck. Does... What, did he end up doing anything? Or... Yeah, he's going to cast oh, a spell against you. Uh, 21 to hit. That's again my my AC exactly. Well, but is this a ranged spell? No, he is he, he has grabbed you. Okay. Uh, and you take 6 necrotic damage. Ah! Uh, and he uh, seems to heal himself a little bit. <laughs> uh you know, I remember now. There's a reason I don't use that spell. <laughs> it's also concentration. You just keep doing it. That's kind of cool. I never realized that, that is part of it. actually pretty cool. Um, but now it is Tarbeck's turn. <laughs> he's, so he's still grabbing onto my arm then. <laughs> Donk. <laughs> exact. Thank you. Exactly that. I rolled a nat one. Okay. <laughs> the guy's holding on to you. <laughs> 
feel I, it's kind of hard to hit him. It's like, it's like, I, I feel like I'm battering him, but it's not actually doing anything because of the weird angle. It's like, get off, please. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. You still have your, uh, what you call it, that, right? Spirit, spiritual uh, weapon, spiritual yeah. Spiritual weapon? Uh, I rolled a, a 12. 12 is his armor class. Sorry, 13. Yes, awesome. That deals five points of damage, and I do have to make the uh, the concentration save for my spirit guardians. Uh, that definitely makes it. That's a nineteen. Okay. I just i I know not everyone is anal about this, but I figure since I'm being anal about it, I gotta play by those rules. Like the concentration saves. Mm -hmm. No, thank and thank you because it is an oft forgotten part of the game, but it is important. Yeah. Uh, so that's Tarbeck's turn. The apprentices are dead. Fang is dead. Navira. Time to come charging at this necromancer, dude. I just need to go out with a uh, 14. 14 is a hit. All right. And I'm not going to waste any divine oh. energy on that. Whoa, okay. What? I can reroll two. Good lord, okay. I rolled a one, a two, and then a three. But that is still eight damage. Wait, uh, you can only re-roll dice once. All right, then seven points of damage. Okay. And then I try to hit him again. Oh, yes. This, this will probably kill him. Uh, yeah, that definitely hits. That is a um, 17. Is a hit. Uh, and that is 12 points of damage will kill the necromancer. <laughs> she just like lives over and is like <laughs> How like, shoulder one, shoulder two, you are now knighted and you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it just, by knighting you mean like cutting his arms off, yeah. of course. Yeah, just <laughs> Okay. Uh, so you guys are in arms. a uh, a circular room. Uh and you have defeated the uh, vampire doppelganger Fang and some more red wizards. And that's where we will end tonight. Um, How are we going to explain this to Narshinda? Things got out of hand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Frank gone wrong. Um, uh, outros and plugs. Daniel. Hi. <laughs> this is a great episode, guys. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for coming. Um, I am Daniel. You can catch me um, every uh, Saturday. Must be fate. Every other sun or every other Sunday now on Horrible Barovia time, and every other Wednesday here. It's only it's only three. I've I've cut down. Record low for you. <laughs> I think you peaked at like five or six. I peaked at five. <laughs> I was, it was a bad idea to take that many campaigns. Um, it's a lot to to, to handle. Um, oh yeah, Liz. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm surround. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jay. Hi, I'm Jay. I'm around. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter if you'd like. And Mira. Hi, I'm Mira. You can follow me both on Twitter and on Instagram at Birds and Nerds. I haven't really posted anything because life has been insane lately. But uh, once I do art, you will see it. Also, if you're going to pack south, I'll be there on Friday for like a couple hours. So if you see me, um, just say hi. But that's me. Um, I'm Andy Hatton at Andy Hatton on Twitter. Check out uh, Keldon, C-E-L-D-O-N, and Thank Torments Torms Day on the DMs Guild. Next week uh, on Laughing Dragon Inn, Strict Team Beta is back, and Bryn Shandar is burning. So, good luck to them. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. Zaztam didn't show up. Been waiting on that for a long time. So It's been like, what, four weeks? Yep. You've been sitting on that? So, we had a whole month. <laughs> yep. And it never occurred to me.
It mm. never occurred to me, let, so thank you very much, Jay. Just let Wait. everyone stew in it. <laughs> hey, he let that marinate with us for four I, weeks. I was also going to ask, like, is it the end of the month here in Waterdeep? Because I remember someone mentioning that. Well, maybe he got real mad that you guys kept messing with him. So he <laughs> showed up early. Also, one final plug. Andy is a monster. What? Yes. You should follow him on Twitter at Andy Hatton. <laughs> you should. He is a delight and a monster all at the same time. I do it's my, true. I do my very best. Um, <laughs> this episode could have gone very different. <laughs> uh, have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.